This must be her house. But it's down the street from where Evelyn lived. Can I help you? I'm Emma Roberts, a journalist investigating the strange events here in Eastwood. I have a few questions for you about Amelia Jones. I told you journalists everything I already know. Do you believe Amelia killed your wife? It's hard to believe, I realize, but yes, I do. You see, Louise, she's my wife now. She saw Amelia run away from the house with Evelyn's jewels that night. When the police searched the girl's bedroom, they found the jewels. They also found a drawing she'd done of Evelyn burning in a fire. Frank, we don't have time for this. Look, we're in a hurry to leave. I'm sure you could talk to Sophia Jones about this. She's Amelia's mother. She lives just down the street. are you? I'm a journalist. My name is Emma. Not this again. I'm so tired of journalists. Here's one of Amelia's drawings. Sometimes I still feel her presence. I can't leave this town, even though I hate it, because I keep thinking she's going to come home. Tell me more about her. She was only 10 when it happened. 
She'd always had such a strange gift. She could predict the future. She'd describe what would happen by drawing it. She was just trying to warn people about the future, but instead they thought she caused bad things to happen. I I'm sorry. This is bringing back bad memories for me. You'll have to excuse me, but feel free to have a look at her room if it'll help.
You have to prove my innocence. I can't believe people think Amelia would hurt Evelyn when the two were so close. But her husband, Frank? Amelia hated him. I think he's the one who killed Evelyn to get her family inheritance. But the cops won't listen to me. Frank's a well-respected pillar of the community, after all. Hm. Listen, if you want to find out what really happened here, investigate Frank. I tell you, he's hiding something. Here. Look at how Amelia drew him. She knew. My daughter knew. You journalists sure are persistent. I told you we're leaving. I have nothing more to say. Please, leave him alone. Don't you think he's suffered enough? Are you accusing me of something on the basis of a kid's drawing? Evelyn was my wife. I loved her. Now leave me alone. Please, help me! 
Frank, no, please, you've got to help. Those awful sculptors of Evelyn's dragged my husband to her half of the house. We closed it off. Too many bad memories, and that so-called art is just scary. I'll see what I can do. Why don't you call the police? this door. Thank you. 
Frank must die, and the townspeople here must be punished. Evelyn, wait. I know you loved Frank. He might be innocent. He's a traitor, and you're taking his side. If Evelyn isn't pacified, something terrible will happen. I've got to remind her of her love for Frank. You don't understand. Go away! I will never forgive him. He is the one to blame.